Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This is Coins of Antiquity, the seven time-tested currencies of yesteryears. Asking, what are the seven oldest known coins and currencies? 1. Mesopotamian Shekel. Approximate date, circa 3000 BC. Material, barley, silver, later. Region, Mesopotamia. Description, initially, the Mesopotamian shekel wasn't a coin but a unit of weight for barley. As the barter system became more cumbersome, this evolved into silver bars whose weight was measured in shekels. 2. Spade money and knife money. Approximate date, c. 600 BC. Material, bronze, iron. Region, ancient China. Description. Before the Chinese coin round coins, they used miniature replicas of spades and knives as currency. These items had both intrinsic and symbolic value, serving as a medium of exchange. 3. Lydian Lion Approximate date, c. 600 BC Material, Electrum, Gold-Silver Alloy Region, Kingdom of Lydia, Modern-Day Turkey Description. This is often cited as the world's first coin as we understand them today, a standardized piece of metal with a government-backed value. It featured a lion's head, a symbol of the Lydian king Aliats. 4. Aegina Turtle. Approximate date, c. 600 to 550 BC. Material, silver. Region, Aegina an island in the Aegean Sea. Description. These were among the first silver coins and were widely used in the ancient Greek world. They featured a sea turtle, a creature sacred to Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty. 5. Athenian Owl. Approximate date. C. 510 BC. Material. Silver. Region. Athens, Greece. Description. Known for its high purity of silver, the Athenian owl tetradram became the most widely used coin in the Greek world. It featured Athena's owl and olive branch, symbols of wisdom and peace. 6. Roman denarius. Approximate date. C. 211 BC. Material. Silver. Region. Roman Republic and later the Roman Empire. Description. Introduced during the Second Punic War, the Daenerys became the standard coin of the Roman Republic. Its design varied but often included images of Roman deities or leaders. 7. Indian punch-marked coins. Approximate date. Between c. 600 to 500 BC. Material. Silver, copper. Region. Indian subcontinent. Description. These are some of the earliest examples of coinage from the Indian subcontinent. The coins are called punch-marked because the symbols were punched into the metal. These currencies tell us much about the civilizations that produced them, their economic systems, political structures, religious beliefs, and even aesthetic preferences. They are not just mediums of economic exchange, but also rich historical documents that help us understand the complexity and diversity of human society across different epochs. Well, numismatists and history buffs, we've embarked on a fascinating journey through the annals of economic history today. From the Lydian lion coins to the ancient Chinese spade money, from Athenian owls to Roman denarii, We've unlocked the vaults of time to unearth the seven oldest known currencies. This episode of Cognition Chunks wasn't just a showcase of dusty coins. It was an exploration of the essence of trade, wealth, and human interaction. Each ancient currency tells us a story, not just about economies, but also about beliefs, politics, and even human psychology. These were not mere metal discs. They were imbued with cultural significance, 
whether it was the goddess Athena on an Athenian coin or the propaganda-laden inscriptions of Roman emperors. Currencies, as we've discovered, are like time capsules that encapsulate the zeitgeist of an era. It's intriguing to ponder how these primitive forms of money laid the groundwork for complex financial systems and globalization. In many ways, these currencies were the blockchain of their time, an attempt to create a standardized, universally accepted measure of value. It begs the question, what's the natural evolution of currency from here? Are cryptocurrencies the next logical step in this lineage, or is there a form of trade and transaction so revolutionary that we've not even conceived it yet? So, as you look at your wallet or your digital bank account, ponder on the monumental history and complexity that's been compacted into that simple action of buying a coffee or investing in stocks. The journey of currency is the journey of civilization itself a barometer of our evolving priorities, aspirations, and even our vices. If you've found today's episode enlightening, why not click that like button and share this historical and economic tour de force? And for more deep dives into the corners of human knowledge and quirky humor, don't forget to hit subscribe. Until our next riveting episode on Cognition Chunks, keep your curiosity insatiable your mind open, and never, ever stop learning. Signing off now, but the quest for knowledge never truly ends. Catch you on the flip side. Was this accurate? Did GPT just make up a bunch of stuff that does not exist or does not make sense? Find out next time in the Cognition Chunks follow-up.